What's up YouTube, this is your boy Nick here, and today I reveal the result of last night's historic 30th annual Royal Rumble pay-per-view event presented by Voodoo TV and Movies and also presented by KFC's new Georgia Gold Honey Mustard Barbecue Chicken. It's finger like in gold. And we all and we will also like to send out a special thanks once again to Ohana Bam for Blow Your Mind. It's the official the official Royal Rumble theme song. Available now on iTunes and Spotify. Alright guys, we're going to kick things off with the kickoff show. From SmackDown Live, it was a six-women tag team match as Naomi teamed up with Nikki Bella and Becky Lynch as they took on Mickie James, Natalia, and the SmackDown Women's Champion Alexa Bliss. Now, the match was... It was alright. Um, um, a lot of tension between the six... Female, the between the six women, but um, but in the end, uh, I believe, but in the end, um, uh, Naomi, I believe, I believe it was Na yes, 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 Naomi pinned Alexa Bliss with the split legged moonsault to uh, get to, to get the victory, and of course, since Naomi did pin the SmackDown Women's Champion, you can you can rest assured that. Naomi will be getting a future SmackDown Women's Championship match. All right, guys. Now from Monday Night Raw, we have the we had the Raw Tag Team Titles as Sheamus and Cesaro defended the Raw Tag Team Titles against Anderson and Gallows. And of course, in this case, we had two referees for this match because a couple of weeks ago on Raw, there was a disqualification. Sheamus. Lost the match by disqualification. And tonight, well, uh, well, not tonight. Last night, we had two referees. All right, so so this match was back and forth. A lot of a, a lot of uh, anger built up, but um, but uh, I believe, but um, the first referee, John Cohn, got got taken out by a bro kick. And then, and then the second referee took took over and declared Anderson and Gallows the new Raw Tag Team Champions. So yes, we have new new Raw Tag Team Champions in in Anderson and Gallows, and we'll see what happens tonight on Raw. All right, guys. From there, we move on to the women's to a to the Raw Women's Division as the boss Sasha Banks goes went one on one with Nia Jax, and of course, it was dominated. Nia Jax was completely dominant. She won. Now, there's really no words to explain it. She won. I mean, yes, yes, Sasha Banks did put up a fight, but it was too much. Nia Jax won by using the pop-up Samoan drop, as Michael Cole pointed out on the Royal Rumble kickoff show last night. All right, guys, from there, we move on to the main card. From Monday Night Raw, as Charlotte defended the Raw Women's Championship against Bailey, and of course, and of course, Charlotte proved Bailey proved Bailey wrong that she that Charlotte was right. Bailey is just an average fan. Yes, she got to live. Yes, Bailey got to live her dream of being at a big time pay per view. Like the Royal Rumble last night, but she failed to defeat Charlotte. So of course, so the match ended with uh, Bailey and Sasha on on the apron. Charlotte hits na natural selection, and she pinned Bailey to become sixteen and zero. Yes, sixteen and zero in championship matches at a pay per view. All right, guys. From there, we move on to the Universal Championship as Kevin Owens defended against Roman Reigns. With Chris Jer uh, in a no in a no disqualification match, with the United States Champion Chris Jericho suspended twenty feet high in a Shark Tank, and of course Roman Reigns was was about to win. Roman Reigns was about to win. Of course Braun Strowman got involved and he attacked Roman Reigns, choke slamming him through through the announce table, putting him through through the table inside the ring, and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens took advantage, and he's still the Universal Champion. 
Now, if you guys are wondering why Braun Strowman did that, it's because a few weeks ago on Raw, Goldberg and Roman Reigns speared Braun Strowman. So, to so to me, I think that was just I think that was Braun 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 Strowman's way of saying that payback is hell. All right, guys. From there, we move on to the cruiserweight division as the as the outlandish. Rich Swan defended the Cruiserweight Championship against the self-proclaimed King of the Cruiserweights, Neville. Um, honestly, this is wow. Um, words cannot describe of how of how uh, how impressive that that match was. Literally, it was impressive. Rich Swan, amazing performance. But in the end, um. Neville hit the superplex on Rich Swan, and Rich Swan Rich Swan kicked out it kicked out kicked yeah sorry yeah I can't sorry sorry about that I can't even talk um Rich Swan kicked out at two at two and a half from the superplex and then Neville decided to use his new submission hold I don't know what it was I don't know what it was but it was impressive. And Rich Swan, he did not give up. And of course, at the and of course the the closing moments, Neville yelled out, "Bring me my crown!" And as soon as he and as soon as and as soon as he yelled out my crown, he decided to put a little more torque into the submission hole, and Rich Swan tapped out. So therefore, new cruiserweight champion, the king of the cru the self-proclaimed king of the cruiserweights, Neville. Alright guys from SmackDown Live and speaking of 16, John Cena went one go went one on one with the phenomenal AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Now of course there's a reason why SmackDown Live commentator JBL called John Cena Big Match John. It's because this was a big fight feel. Now of course he missed he of course of course um the last time we, the last time the WWE was in Texas, I believe it was at WrestleMania last year, and yes, he did miss out on WrestleMania. Well, well, technically he he did, but still, John Cena did the unthinkable. He is he tied Ric Flair with sixteen World Championships. You know what? I gotta give John Cena props. Honestly, I was, honestly, I was not expecting that. John Cena. All right. So the way, so way, so the way the closing moments of the match ended was this. AJ Styles had hit, had hit, had hit, had hit his second Styles Clash on John Cena. He goes out to the apron and was about to hit the phenomenal forearm that allowed John Cena to counter to an AA. He rolls through, picks him up, and doesn't gives him another attitude adjustment, and therefore he becomes 16-time WWE champion. Um, you know what? Honestly, honestly, you know what? John Cena, if you're watching this, congrats! You earned it. Congrats on becoming a 16-time WWE champion. I know, I, I know that Ric Flair is. Is 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 proud of you? I saw it on. I I I even saw saw exactly what he said to you, and he he, he was impressed. So John Cena, congrats! All right, guys. From there, we move on to the 30th annual Royal Rumble match. Now, for those of you who do who are not aware of the of the rules, the rules are simple. The superstars who drew who drew numbers who draw who drew numbers one and number two will start in the ring. Every two minutes, another superstar will enter. The match will go on until all three superstars have, have entered the match. Elimination occurs when you are thrown over the top rope and both feet touch the floor. The last remaining superstar standing will win the match, and depending on what brand he's from, will get that branch will get a championship match at, at WrestleMania. Now, of course, if the winner of the Royal Rumble match was was a Raw superstar, then he will get a, a shot. At the at Kevin Owens and the and the Universal Title at WrestleMania. However, if it's, however, if it was from SmackDown Live, he goes on to WrestleMania to face the WWE Champion. 
And I have, right now, I am looking at the 30 superstars who actually entered this match. And this was the biggest, the most stacked Royal Rumble match in history. In fact, in fact, right now, I'm just, I, I'm just going to count how many superstars we got. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. A dozen superstar. A dozen of these of the Royal Rumble participants have actually won the WWE Championship. Um, others have become tag team champion. Some have won. Have actually won the Royal Rumble match. And yes. All right. So from all right. So going. So so counting down down from one to thirty. At number one, the number one entrant was Big Cass. Of course, of course, when you're the when you're at the number one spot, odds are not in your favor. Um, and num and entrant number two was Chris Jericho, the United States Champion. Counting down from number three, we have Kalisto, followed by Mojo Rawley, and then at entry number five from two from two o five live. Gentleman Jack Gallagher. And at number six, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, which was a huge surprise entrant. And at number six. And then at number seven was Braun Strowman. And then at number eight, as as announced by Dean Ambrose, Sammy Zayn. And then at number nine, the big show. And the rumors were true, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you heard you. You are, what I'm about to tell you, you heard it right. At entry number 10 was the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger, who had an amazing match this past Saturday at NFC TakeOver San Antonio against Eric Young, Young from the group known as Sanity. So yes, the perfect 10 at entry number 10. At number 11, um... James Ellsworth. Um, I I was quite surprised when uh, James Ellsworth got got his spot in in, in the Royal Rumble match. Um, it was quite quite in interesting. And then of course at number twelve, the Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose, who actually tricked James Ellsworth into getting getting into the ring, and in like five seconds. Braun Strowman just literally picks him up and throws him outside of the ring, and I think he, I think James Ellsworth might, James Ellsworth might be, might need hip replacement. Not sure. Anyway, and entry number thirteen, lucky number thirteen, was the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin, who actual, who actually eliminated Braun Strowman. Believe it or not, Baron Corbin by himself eliminated Braun Strowman. Which is a huge thing. And then at number 14, we have the New Day's Kofi Kingston. And then, of course, at number 15, we had The Miz. And then at number 16, Sheamus. Number 17 was Big E. Number 18 was Rusev. And then at number 19 was Sheamus' tag team partner, Cesaro. And then at number 20 was Xavier Woods, the brains of the New Day. And then at number 21 was the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. And then, of course, at number 22 was Apollo Crews. And then at number 23 was the Viper, Randy Orton. And then at number 24 was the show-off, Dolph Ziggler, who seems to have a different attitude as of who seemed, who seemed to have had a different attitude over the last couple of weeks. Um, honestly, um, to be honest, I think it was a little too late for Dolph Ziggler to, to, to make that, to make that, that attitude change. Because I, because my sources have told me that Dolph, that Dolph Ziggler this year might hang up the boots. That's, those are just rumors, so I don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, continuing on at number 25, Luke Harper, who actually 
turns his back on Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. Literally, literally, like literally, he took the term friend versus friend, foe versus foe, to a whole new level. And then at number 26, set the Alamo Dome turned to Suplex City. The Beast Brock Lesnar at number 26, who only eliminated four, who literally, who literally eliminated four men. And then at number 27, Enzo Amore, who was one of the superstars who got eliminated by Brock Lesnar. And then at number 28, Goldberg. Um, literally, it took a minute 26. Literally, that's all it took was to eliminate Brock Lesnar from the Royal Rumble. I think it's safe to say that at WrestleMania, we're going to have ourselves a rematch. That's what I think. And then at number 29. Oh my god, we did not think it would happen. I thought he was going to enter the match at number 3. 30 like he did in 2007, but unfortunately, no. At number 29, The Undertaker. Who eliminated Goldberg after... Goldberg eliminated Rusev, Undertaker eliminated Baron Corbin, and then Goldberg eliminated Luke Harper, and then The Undertaker eliminated Goldberg. And then at number 30, oh my god, after losing, after losing his shot at the Universal title, title earlier that night, Roman Reigns became the 30th entrant in the Royal Rumble match. What's funny though is that a lot, a, a lot of the fans kept on chanting, and to to all of the parents out there who are watching this video with their kids, viewer discretion is about is, is advised. All the fans kept on chanting, "This is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit." the The entire Alamo Dome just kept on chanting that because the fans did not want Roman Reigns; they wanted Samoa Joe. Unfortunately, that did not happen. However, at the end, it was down to five men. The Undertaker, Roman Reigns, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Bray Wyatt. The Undertaker got, got eliminated by Roman Reigns. Then Jericho got eliminated by Roman Reigns. Then Bray Wyatt got eliminated by Roman Reigns. That's three men. And then Randy Orton eliminated Roman Reigns to win... His second Royal Rumble match. Now this will be the first in what? In what? 17, 16, 15, 14, 15, 12, 11, 10, 9. In eight years. This will be the first Royal Rumble match in eight years that Randy Orton has won the Royal Rumble match. This this makes him the seventh individual to win more at least two or more Royal Rumbles. So yes, therefore, the winner of the 2017 Royal Rumble match was the Viper Randy Orton. Well, I hope you guys guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to post in the in the comments below, and be sure to like this video, share with your friends and family, and subscribe and bell me for more WWE and Yu-Gi-Oh opening videos. Oh, and before I forget, um, to all of you, to all of the, to all of the Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, if you guys are wondering why I posted two, two openings this month. It's because I was. It's because um, I was about to um, post another. I, I was about. I was about to make another video and post it this week, but unfortunately, some, some something went 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 wrong with my with the with my memory on my on on my camera, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff. Um, of course, everything that I that I that I kept has been opened, but. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a recap, if you will, will of what I pulled. So I so I so I do apologize, but yes, you will you will get a chance to see everything that I have pulled after I after I um after I post the Super Starter V for Victory Starter Deck. I will be posting that. I will be posting that sometime within the next two weeks. So again, to all my fan, to all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, I do apologize for that. And uh, also, and be sure to check me out on Twitter. I'll have links in the description below so you guys can check me out. And on that, this is your boy Nick here signing off. And always remember the rumble.